Maybe you have an old 401k plan or other retirement account just sitting around, or maybe you have money sitting in the bank earning nothing and you wanna do something with it. Regardless of the scenario, I'm gonna show you how an index annuity can be a great tool for helping you accumulate and grow your wealth. So even though it is technically a retirement account, it doesn't have to be used just for retirement money. And there are several different types of annuities that exist, but the one I'm covering today is very unique because it's not built around the normal retirement income stream or anything like that. It's focused on parking your money in the annuity and having that money grow as fast as possible. And this specific type of annuity has three unique benefits that separates it from a lot of other annuities that you may be familiar with in the past. Now, the first benefit with this specific type is that you don't have to annuitize. So annuitizing is you taking that money and pretty much giving it to the insurance company. And in return, they're gonna give you back a guaranteed income stream for life. And a lot of people didn't like the fact that you had to annuitize the product because while you're getting your income stream, if you were to die, there's a high chance that the income stops and nobody gets anything else. So pretty much the insurance company keeps the remaining amount of the money. Now it's great if you live a long time because you would have taken out a lot of income from that product. But if you were to die soon and that income stops, then your family gets nothing, so it's not really beneficial. So for that reason, a lot of people did not like the fact that you had to annuitize the product. So you can see why this is a major benefit for this specific type of annuity. Now the second benefit is that you're guaranteed to never lose money. So not just the money that you put in initially, that's guaranteed, but any growth that has accumulated over the years, that money's also guaranteed as well. Because a lot of times when people transfer their 401k or other retirement account into an index annuity, They've been accustomed to seeing their account value go up and down because of the markets going up and down, but now they don't have to worry about that because they will never see their account go down moving forward. And the last major benefit is that there are no fees. And there's very rarely you can talk about a financial product that doesn't have any fees, but index annuities have no fees whatsoever. So those are three of the strongest benefits that you get when you transfer your money into this product. So now that we have that out the way, I wanna show you a visual of what it actually looks like if you were to put your money into a product like this. So what you're looking at here is an illustration. So illustration is gonna show you potentially what your money can do if you were to put it inside this product. So starting off here in the header, you will see this client is 40 years old. Um, this is an IRA, so IRA is an individual retirement account. So if it's money coming from a 401k or other retirement account, it's gonna go inside of an IRA into this annuity. Now, if you're just dealing with cash, it's not gonna be an IRA, it'll be a non-qualified account. And the example I'm showing you is, $500,000 rolled over from a 401k or wherever going inside this annuity so you can see how this money can perform. Now, if you don't have 500,000, that's fine. You don't, it's not the minimum, but chop the zero. To give you an idea, let's say you have 50,000, so just cut the imaginary zero off the back and that gives you an idea of what the money could be doing for you. But the simple $500,000 is the example we're gonna look at. So the rates we're looking at are gonna assume the last 10 years repeats itself over and over and over. So it's gonna give you a more realistic example of what the market can do because it will have some ups and some downs. So it's not just showing all positive years, there will be some negative years involved. So from left to right, we have the policy year. That's the age of the policy. And beginning year is the beginning age of that client. It was a 40 year old, so 40 years old. And at the end of year one, they'll be 41. So that's pretty straightforward. 500,000 is going in one time. So it's not something that you're putting in over and over and over just one time dump in and then you're gonna set it and forget it. So then we have the annual effective account value growth rate. So this is the rate at which your account is gonna grow at. So this is following the stock market. So if the stock market goes up, your account value will grow. If the stock market were to go down, you will be guaranteed against loss, so you'll be at zero. So the cap in this example was 12%. So this particular year, the market did 11.39, so you got 11.39. So that $500,000 growing at 11.39% would have grown 56, almost $57,000 in just interest alone in that first year. So this is how the beginning of compound interest starts. So your accumulated value would have been the original 500,000 plus the 56,000 of interest, making it $556,950. So that's the accumulated value at the end of year one. Then we have cash value. So cash value is, that's the amount of money, if you were to cancel everything and walk away, you're walking away with $511,000. So you'll see there's a variance between these two numbers, but every single year, it's almost like a vesting period, you have more access to this full accumulated value. Because this accumulated value is the value that's actually growing and earning the compound interest. 
This cash value is what you have access to. And then you have the death benefit. The death benefit, if you were to die, is what pays out to your beneficiary. So it's not like the, the company is keeping any money. That full accumulated value is gonna pay out to your beneficiary. Um, you just have to make sure you list them, but that pays out to your beneficiary. So then we go into year two. So year two, notice we got no growth. And the reason we got no growth is because the market probably performed at a negative rate or at zero. More than likely it was a negative rate. So you got no growth, which means you have no interest gain, which means you stay exactly where you left off. But even though you stay exactly where you left off because it's like a vesting period, you have more access to that accumulated value in year two. You get more and more access every single year. So depending on where the money's coming from, because obviously if, if it's a retirement account, it's gonna be in there long term. So this, is, this really isn't gonna matter. But let's say you're, you're just dumping in cash, then we could play around with different values to get you more money sooner. So you can see the death benefit stays the same because the accumulated value stays the same. Then next year, then year three, the market did 9.54. So you got 9.54, you received 53,000 interest and that brings your account value up. You have access to more. So you can see year over year, right? The market probably went above 12. So you hit the cap of 12%. You got 73,000. And now you see the compounding effect because now that 12% is based on $610,000. Not off the 500,000, you're getting 12% on the 610 and you can see it starts to compound. This is all while guarantee you never lose money. So you can fast forward like at year 10, you know, market did 12, I mean the market performed better than 12, so you got 12. $115,000 in interest, you got, you're up to a million, your, your account value has doubled at this point. Right? But now you notice these numbers are identical. So there's no more variance between these numbers. So if you walked away and canceled everything, you're walking away with a million dollars. So regardless, even though there's a variance in year two, you walk away with 516,000, you gain $16,000 of growth in two years with no risk at all. Right, So you keep it, it's gonna grow here. If you walk away, this is what you get. If you were to die, this is what your beneficiary gets. So, and you can see, you know, let's say, as we move forward, let's say this person wants to retire at age 75, what it will look like. Age 75, starting age 75 here, they've had this for 36 years, age 75. Obviously the market's still performing with the ups and downs, but they would gain $815,000 in just interest alone, and their account value would be $7.6 million. So there's not many places where you can have growth like that, double digit rates of return, with no risk, meaning if the market were to crash, drop, you're not gonna lose any money, and now your death benefit is equal to your accumulated value and the cash value. So if you were to walk away, you're walking away with 6.7 million, but again, if you want to take the money out before, let's say year 15 of doing so, you're at $1.4 million. So this is a great scenario. I just wanted to show you a visual of what it would look like not just theory. And again, these rates are based on the last 10 years of the market repeating itself. So past performance does not guarantee future gains, but you know you're guaranteed against loss. But if you were to park your money inside a vehicle like this, you know it can only go up. And it's a great place to put old retirement account money. So I hope that visual was helpful and gave you a better understanding of index annuities and how they work. Because again, there's different types out there. So you may be familiar with one type, but this is a unique type that's mainly focused on cash accumulation and cash growth. So if you need help, you want to reach out to our team, I'll put a link in the bio. You reach out, we set up a consultation, and we can run these numbers for you to see if it makes sense or not. Other than that, if you have any questions, just put them in the comment section. If you receive any value, like always, just put a happy face in the comment section. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.